we've heard about gunpowder, so we're going to try to steal it. But suddenly we, we arrive and, and we see just this, this incredible army that um, is, is extraordinarily disciplined and fights in a way we've never seen. And, and we get swept up in the defense of the wall. He was basically captured and given to an army at a very young age and he was raised he knows nothing but, uh, but, but war, and he's fought for everybody. He doesn't really fight for a flag. He'll fight for anybody who pays him. Uh, he's got a very cynical view of the world, and, uh, and he is an extremely capable fighter, as is his best friend Tovar. They're, they're, they're basically a two-man wrecking crew. Eventually, as they start to see the defense of the wall and they start to understand what's happening and why, um, Tovar, Pedro's character, remains committed to our original plot to steal the black powder. He's like, these people are crazy and they're all gonna die. Let's take the gunpowder. Whereas William, uh, for the first time, sees, uh, sees, sees that there's, there might be something greater than just his own personal gain to fight for. And he, and he admires, and, and uh, maybe in a way that he couldn't even articulate, um, the manner in which these people are willing to sacrifice themselves for each other. Johnny Moe is uh, one of the greatest filmmakers on the planet, and um, I've wanted to work with him for a long time. And uh, and the, everything aligned, the stars aligned this time, and uh, and and I finally got a chance to work with him. So it's it's a real privilege for me and for all the actors. I mean, we all talk about that, and and the crew members too. I mean, we're all here for him. He paints on this spectacularly large canvas and he does it in a way that nobody else does the way he uses color and the kind of the sweeping scale of, 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 of what he does there, there are very few people who who can do it and who do do it he and Tovar are pretty much comfortable fighting with any weapon um, they've they've uh, been in in probably a thousand different battles together so but he does prefer he's got a bow that he uses that and he's a, a speed archer, so he can he can fire multiple arrows very quickly, um, basically from anywhere, and uh, and he's most comfortable with his bow in his hand. Tovar, his his best friend, has two swords that he's collected kind of in his travels, and and he's most comfortable fighting with a weapon in in each hand. So they're pretty versatile uh, fighters. That's that's kind of what they're on the earth to do. Well, when they get to the wall, um, they've heard of the wall, but they, they, they'd never seen it. And it's beyond any kind of, any feat of engineering that they possibly could have ever imagined. And, um, and, and uh, atop the wall and protecting the wall is this army um, called the Nameless Order, um, this mythical Chinese army that, that essentially lives and dies in order to defend the wall. There's no way to, to describe the Great Wall, and, and people had, had, uh, had told me that, friends who'd been, you know, and it was a bucket list item. I mean, everybody, you know, wants to get there. And, uh, but walking up, you know, with my, my wife and my kids, I, it just, it's, it, it's almost unimaginable that that was, that human beings made that. It is so, it just goes on forever. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes and you know made by hand i mean you know so many years ago and you just it's just it's really it's spectacular i can't i can't compare it to anything cuz there's nothing like it